For more than seven years, Asha Singh, the mother of the 23-year-old girl who was gang-raped on a bus and later died of her injuries, has been going from one court to another. She's been seeking justice for her daughter, referred to across India as Nirbhaya, or the fearless one. Two years ago, India's top court upheld the death penalty for four men imposed by a fast-track court in 2013. They were due to hang this January, but that was delayed by legal procedures. The mother of one of the men recently asked Asha Singh to show mercy, which she refused. It doesn't matter to me if anyone says sorry or cries, because for seven years I've been crying tears of blood. I've lost a daughter. The Supreme Court has dismissed review petitions filed by the convicts and upheld the death penalty. But the sentence has reignited a debate in India. Can capital punishment reduce rape? Nirbhaya's father says yes. If these convicts are hung, if a few more are hung, then others would be scared of committing rape. Massive protests broke out in India's capital after Nirbhaya's death. In response, the Indian government introduced a tougher sentencing policy, including the death penalty for rape and murder and for raping a minor under 12. One Indian politician says rapists should be lynched. Another suggests castration as punishment. But while many members of parliament, including women, back capital punishment, legal experts are divided over whether that is a deterrent. Some argue the real problems are a slow justice system in a patriarchal society. If you look at the difference between... Lawyer Karunanandi points to recent National Crime Bureau figures. A low conviction rate for the rape of about 27%, but a 30% increase in the number of victims killed after rape from 2017 to 2018 to destroy evidence. If the penalty for, you know, rape, for certain kinds of rape, and the penalty for death is death, what's the incentive to not kill? Back at court, Asha Singh says the death sentence on the four men who gang-raped her daughter will bring her justice and work as a deterrent. Anshul Vora, Al Jazeera, New Delhi. Elizabeth Ranam joins us now from um, New Delhi. So, uh, Liz, what's happening there? So, Rochelle, there have been uh, crowds of outside Tihar jail cheering as the rapists uh, were hung at the moment that they were being hung just about 20 minutes ago. And they were also joined by a very large media and a security presence. This has been a huge story in India since the... Uh, since December 2012, when the gang rape and murder took place. And it's a day that has been welcomed not just by Nirbhaya's parents, we've heard from her mother who said that um, her daughter's soul can finally rest in peace, but also uh, by many Indians. And it's a day that has been delayed many times as the convicts um, seek mercy pleas, you know, from the president, from the Supreme Court. Uh, they were due to be hung on January 22nd. That has been delayed three times and they went to the Delhi High Court at 10 p.m. Uh, last night again with another plea um, and the the convict's lawyer was you know saying the same thing repeating his arguments that he has um, over the last few months which is that this was a trial by media and that his uh, clients were victims of both the media trial and police torture but the Delhi High Court again said that his arguments that there's no merit that there's uh, no no foundation for this now um, they, this is the first time in India that you know four people have been hung together and again the Delhi um, the gang rape of 2012 saw some of the biggest protests that India has ever seen. It was a watershed moment for many in the country, which has a very big problem with rape, with rape culture. At least around 40,000 rapes are reported every year, and that's, you know, just the ones that are reported. And as Anshul mentioned, while there have been changes to the law, you know, a lot of women right, rights activists say that the real changes to um, society and to the judiciary haven't mm -hmm. taken place. And unfortunately, we have seen other 
terrible gang rapes and murders since 2012, including just a few months ago in the southern city of Hyderabad. All right. Elizabeth Veronim, live for us in New Delhi. Liz, thank you.